Welcome back guys to Pinoy Crossover. Let's jump straight to the last two series that we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Let's go with the Warriors and the Spurs. What did you guys look, what do you guys see so far about the series? What, what did you notice? What did you like? What did you not like about it? Um, first things first, we don't know this man at Ginobili's last season. Mm -hmm. It may um, have been. May so, have been. Yeah. yeah, people are you know, sure. making rumors about it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, surprised nice they won one game. I thought it would have been a sweep, mm -hmm. you know, considering Kawhi didn't play. Mm -hmm. I hope he goes to Lakers. Oh, <laughs> this guy's a little... Yeah, but Popovich said he won't trade him there. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, unfortunately, Greg Popovich's wife passed at the same mm -hmm. time, yeah. you know, during the playoffs. Yeah. And uh, the Warriors, you know, you can see that they were just kind of cruising near the end of the season. Mm -hmm. And when they really want to play well, they can, you know, they can really uh, go back to how they usually play. Mm -hmm. And um, LaMarcus Aldridge has been playing really good. Um, he needed more support. And just overall, the, the team's just old, right? Mm -hmm. I mean... I didn't really see the series because I know Warriors are going to take it, but um, I'm not even sure if Tony Parker played. Yeah. Yeah. He um, mm -hmm. got the other young guys um, that stepped up, but overall, Warriors will just um, dismantle them in the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I didn't really pay attention to the series because I knew the Warriors would have won the series. Um, Could have been a swap. Could have been a swap, but uh, I just know that it, with Spurs without Kawhi Leonard, it, does, it doesn't seem right. Although it's a whole other situation, whole other conversation. Um, but either way, I didn't think the Spurs, with or without Kawhi, would have beat the Warriors in the first round series. Uh, they would probably would give them a lot more of a fight with Kawhi. But obviously, the series is, is just an easy, easy, easy series for the Warriors. And then even without Stephen Curry, too. They don't have Stephen Curry playing with them. So um, it just shows the Warriors are still dominant. With with or, with or without Stephen Curry, and they'll they'll make it they'll make another deep run in the playoffs. But for the Spurs, they have a lot of stuff to think about during the off season, um, with Kawhi Leonard, uh, manager Nobly, if he's going to return or not, um, and you know up in the air. But I'll just leave it there. Greg Popovich, if he's um, you might if, retire if, from coaching. Yeah, if he might stay this coaching. Might but his, you know yeah. why not? You know. I don't want to say anything else, but but mm -hmm. Greg Popovich, we we're, we're thinking about you too, but mm -hmm. um, keep doing your doing. So yeah. it's it's very very up in the air for the Spurs organization right now. Mm -hmm. If you um, now you guys have mentioned it a couple of times, if you were Kawhi, what would be the best thing for you to do, or what would be the best not just for you but for the organization, uh, the Spurs organization? What do you think would be the move? Well, Spurs, uh, what they got to do is they got to trade Kawhi because it doesn't seem like he wants to be there anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, Popovich and um, Spurs are saying they don't want to trade him, they want to keep him. But uh, if Kawhi is not there mentally, then you got to move him or mm -hmm. at least good pieces or, or something. Mm -hmm. um, if I was Kawhi, I'd go to like a, a good team so I could be a, back to a contender. Mm -hmm. I mean, going to the Lakers is a good idea um, if, you know, uh, star players go there this offseason. Mm -hmm. But um, if I was him, I'd go to a, a contender in the East, so mm -hmm. he would have a much better chance there. Mm -hmm. A contender in the East, mm, mm. That, that sounds intriguing. I, th I, think, I, think he, <laughs> uh, I think he should stay in the West, um, but it's, it's, so, it's so hard to think what's going on in Kawhi's mind, uh, despite all the rumors and articles out there right now. Mm -hmm. But he's such a quiet guy, who knows what he wants to do, whether he mm -hmm. wants to stay or not. But if he were one to leave and, or asked to be traded and he demands he should be traded, I think he should stay in the West and just look to what, what we're going to talk about, about next. The, Pel the Pelicans or the Portland, Bla uh, Portland Trail Blazers, they're a good team. They're both good teams, even though Portland lost against Pelicans. Mm -hmm. Being that third guy on the Portland Trail Blazers wouldn't be that third, third fourth guy on the Trail Blazers wouldn't be that bad of a, of a move. And then Pelicans, they're on the come, come up right now. They're in need of a forward. That, that's what all basically they're missing. And that would be a perfect spot for uh, Kawhi mm -hmm. Leonard. But mm -hmm. depending on Kawhi, what Kawhi wants to do, depending on what he, if he gets the relationship going with the Spurs organization again, and if he wants to play there long term and he, he wants to stay with Pop, then go ahead. I mean, it's, it, I wouldn't be mad if he moves or not. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So it's it's up to him, but it's just it's just hard to think what's in his mind. He's a he's a quiet guy, but mm -hmm. hopefully he gets back. And I want to see him play again. It's it's been a while since we've seen him play. Yeah, it's definitely the the question that everyone's going to be having throughout the off season, right? And let's go straight up to the last series, right? That have ended recently, well, quickly. <laughs> the Pelicans and the Blazers, guys. What well, what happened in this whole series? <laughs> Tell me. Tell me what you noticed. Hey, man, what happened to regular season Lillard, man? Like, he disappeared. <laughs> he like. disappeared. He lost his watch. He lost. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe Drew Holiday took it from him. Yeah, like, Drew know, Holiday stole it from him. Yeah. yeah, Drew Holiday. This, uh, <laughs> wow. Um, 40 points, 30 points. Crazy. Like, he didn't expect that from him. Yeah. And uh, Anthony Davis, without um, DeMarcus Cousins, uh, this whole time I thought losing DeMarcus Cousins would be a huge blow to um, Pelicans, but... Wow, like they really showed that they can play Rondo. Rondo was like back to his um, playoff Rondo. Playoff Rondo, man. You know, he only uh, showed Boston up in the form. Rondo. Yeah, like it's, it's yeah. crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, what I was, what was I saying? Um, yeah, Lillard didn't show up. Um, I guess um, J. Rude really uh, played defense on him really well. And Drew like um, locked him he down. He was missing shots that he usually makes. Mm. Um, like I was saying earlier, I'm not sure if he was just eager to go home to his newborn son. He's like, <laughs> probably like, oh, I'll lose to uh, Warriors anyway. I mean, might as well uh, take lose a vacation right now. now. <laughs> so. One, two, three, Cancun. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I, I, honestly, I, I picked Portland to uh, beat the Pelicans just because, you know, not having Boogie Cousins and having that experience with um, so they have no Boogie Cousins. They have Anthony Davis, Rajon Rondo, and Drew Holiday. I didn't know how that team was going to click together, but for some reason they found it. They found they they found a way to click. And mm. also have the top shooter uh, Miritich also oh, on that yeah. squad as well. He's a wow. underrated pickup mm -hmm. that they had Bodega. from them. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. again, a huge a huge game from Drew Holiday. That whole series locking down Damian Lillard, which was key in that whole playoffs. And it, like he dropped for about 40 plus points including uh anthony davis dropped 40 pl 40 plus points in that, in that last game to beat the uh, the blazers um and on the portland side you know not only damian Lillard wasn't playing well yusuf nurkic wasn't playing that well either he he, he was dominant all season as well and also cj mccollum coming like his backcourt mate it wasn't really going well for him as well so it, it sucks to see the portland trailblazers lose but I mean, good for the Pelicans. They they finally uh, I think they found a way to uh, get that boost now, with or without Boogie. So it, it could be imagine what what would happen if they had Boogie Cousins on it, or if they don't, if still yeah. on. So mm -hmm. who knows if they could have um, continued playing in the series. Yeah. This is definitely a surprising result because the Blazers were red hot coming into the postseason. Like Dame Lillard was playing at an MVP level. They were like, you know, expected to do big things in the postseason and cause a lot of havoc. Yeah. But the Pelicans, you know, shout out to Calvin Drenchy for being able to go through that, you know, struggle and the loss of Demarcus and pulling this team together and making them, you know, a, a, a making through the playoffs. Not just that, but having Davis play at his best. And Drew Holiday was so consistent the whole season. And Ronda, like, people forgot Ronda was really good when he played, was in Chicago for that two games that he was in the playoffs. They could have beat, like, you know, they could have beaten Boston if uh, Ronda didn't get injured. So this is now him. Like, this is just how he does. He just shows up in the playoffs, right? Yeah. And that's all we have, guys, for Pinoy crossover the whole season period. We're going to do through, uh, since the other, uh, other series are not done yet, we're going to do them in our next episode and do more analysis because it's so much happening mm -hmm. right now in the NBA. We can't stop t talking about it. But now that the episode's done, what do you guys want to say? Any last shout outs? Any uh, things that you want to say to your mom, <laughs> to your tita? Uh, I just want to give a shout out to my mom and my dad. Uh, I know they watch the show uh, and my friends who uh, watch the show, my uh, family in the Philippines and LA. That's about it. Hey man, shout out to all our family and friends, supporters following the show. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, Pernod Cross, or check us out. We have a lot of good content there. Like us, comment, and subscribe. You know, share it. We want to continue the conversation about what you guys think of the whole playoff series and the whole playoffs in, in general. So, comment. Let us know. And keep watching, guys, because the Raptors are going to win. Remember, once this airs, the Raptors are going to win it, right? As always, guys, stay balling. <laughs>